problem right has been going on a wild rampage about you bro and like i said the only thing that i ever i ever said that i had an issue with is that you did a video with koopa and koopa is he he he, he right, 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 right. yeah he, he he's an unbelievable um problem that's been going on with it but you don't see the thing about it is you don't really know a lot about these guys and i think yeah i don't i don't think that they appreciate that what you're doing trying to spread the love and shit like that because to, like you don't need you don't need anybody bro you don't really I, I don't and i told you this you don't you don't need to do anything with any of these guys you've already hit that point on youtube where all you got to do is keep putting out your content and you know what i'm saying and you're gonna be good so i don't understand why there's so much anger but let me let me just let everybody okay hold on, hold on. um all right so look i'm look okay first of all we're gonna welcome J Mel. Uh, to the Jamar's World stream, and we're gonna start asking some questions right now. I'm gonna let you guys know what happened with me last night at like 2:30 Eastern Standard Time. I got a private message because obviously you guys know I've been doing YouTube around all the time when Addy Cards was around. All these old, you know, when when I Maverick was just starting up, um, you know, with Madden Mastermind. Uh, who else, who else? Shaka 360 was big for uh, you know stealing eBooks and shit like that. Um, it was I, I I came in at a very very wild time when there was a lot of things going on so i know everybody in the community j mel on the other hand doesn't know everyone so what he's doing pretty much like you know anybody that has any type of heart he's trying to share his wealth that's pretty much what i see him doing and he's trying to share it so much that people are starting to get intimidated because he doesn't really choose certain individuals now we're gonna we're gonna get a little um we're gonna we're gonna get a little bit of um you know background information for what's been going on right now. Pretty much the way that the I, I got a whole fucking line and paragraph and shit like that because obviously when anybody does anything or goes against um, problem right, it becomes a major major issue. So they're just letting me know. The people were letting me know because they they know I, you know I mess with J Mel. You know I talk to J Mel. I know what's going on. But they also know that whoever I uh, side with but like you know what I'm saying they're ultimately going to get their point across the better way than the other person just because I don't really like latch on to anybody and what I say and what I feel is just what it is I don't really give a fuck what anybody is thinking about so looking at all the information that I got people um the primary thing is this they're saying that you're clout chasing because you use tags in your videos but the funny thing about that is Mostly everybody that blew up on YouTube did the same shit. Yeah. It's not like it's yeah. something that people don't do. So yeah. that part right there is bullshit. The other part of it is the view botting thing. Now, that doesn't look. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Uh, people are doing, you know, like um, in, in that whole conversation. They're like, yeah, he's buying views. J Mel is buying views from France and shit like that. I don't care about all that. <laughs> I just want to know. Do you understand that you're dealing with people? that don't give a fuck about your, do you understand what I, when you first yeah, came yeah, into my yeah, stream, do you understand I mean, that right now? Yeah, I understand that. Okay, because when we first met, I told you, I said, look, you're gonna start getting messages from people, people are gonna be doing whatever, and shit like that. Look, I'm, I'm gonna, look, in 2013, I started my channel in 2012, just for like, you know, shits and giggles after I got IP booted by Koopa, and I wanted to take down Madden Mastermind. I had so many opportunities to collab, to do all these things and I chose I chose not to just because coming through that whole situation I got to see exactly what people were and like I said I can look you, you, yo you've been you've been spreading your wealth tremendously like it, it's, it's it's to the point where it's like people just think like oh yeah bro if I need something I can just hit up J Mel that's pretty much what's going on right now so wow. other guys like problem right right now he he's at he's at a point right now where he's trying to build his YouTube you know what I'm saying? So, exactly. Exactly, yeah. Bro. So, so I'm just, be, I'm just being honest about it. Like, I don't give a fuck what anybody runs and goes says. What I'm just, I'm just speaking facts. Right at this point, right now, to me, because looking at it, people don't really realize YouTube. It, it means a lot more than Twitch. So, yeah. where you, they where are, you are right now. Get so hurt, bro. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I'm saying. It, it's, it's, it, it looks like it's becoming a situation where people are going to attack you just because you're a guy to attack meanwhile it's so much other shit going on so i just want to know your point of view like the people want to know where did this start like why why is it why has it become a whole clout chasing thing what happened with you and problem right 
Here's what happened. All right, I'm streaming, right? I'm streaming, boom. Uh, we got, I think we had like 500, 600 some people in here. So of course, uh, my phone started going off. Usually go off with Twitter messages, notifications. It usually just likes three to my fans. But I look at my phone, it said 97 notifications. 97, I'm like, okay, what the hell going on? So I go look and the problem quote, quoted somebody, somebody said uh, J-Mail uses uh, other people's tags to get clout. The problem quoted it and put some eye emojis. So I was like, I just let it go. But so then uh, somebody told me problem was saying, uh, yeah, I'm using him for cloud and I was a fraud. So I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So I go, somebody sent me a picture, right? Oh, uh, you you go to his YouTube channel and type in my name in his channel. It's two videos he got me tagged, right? So I'm like, I showed that to the whole stream. Everybody on stream saw it. He saw, and then, then somebody told problem, well, J-Mail just exposed you for using him in tax. And then he tweeted out this tweet, J-Mail's the fakest kid in the community. He's a fraud, uh, saying I use him in his tag, and he's been cloud chasing, blah, blah, blah. So after that happened, I guess, you know what I'm saying, problem got all these followers. Bro. So I guess once they saw, oh, problem's okay with fucking bashing J-Mail. So everybody was like, okay, not at our fucking king. Not at our fucking king said it's okay to, you know what I'm saying, do this shit. Everybody start, oh yeah, J-Mail, yeah, yeah. So, you know, right off the rip, I start blocking everybody. Like, every time somebody says some negative shit, block, block, block. Like, I brought, like, problem is blocked too. But that's all I said. I let it go. Then he just still kept tweeting about it. Then he tweeted, you call yourself the exposed guy, but I beat you 28 to zero. Uh, I think it's a video game. Bro, like, like you're a grown man. You a 29 year old grown ass man bragging about beating me in a video game, bro. I, I don't like. I hear what I tell you, people, bro. Like the mad community, it's a it's a community, whatever. But it ain't no big community on Twitch. Like if you look at the viewers right now, I'm looking. NBA Live, NBA 2K17 got 1.7k viewers. Man has 345 right now on Twitch. Yeah, right? yeah. The mad community yeah. don't have no. There's no clout to get from the Twitch community, bro. And that's what I'm telling no. them. Like I have 43,000 subs. And they're like, it, there's no, and they're like, oh, you view by him because you get more than problems. Like, I tweet, <laughs> I put out a video, I put out a video to my subs, right? Okay. That video got 1.3k views. I put out a video every time I uh, go live, like, hey, I'm going live, come through, it's like a 10 second video. It got 1.3k views in 40 minutes. And only about four or 500 came to the stream. So I'm like, why do I need the view by, bro? I'm actually pissed because I, w- I want more. You know what I'm saying? 43,000 subs on YouTube and only 300 subs to come watch me on Twitch. I'd be surprised that I'm not getting more, bro. And they just get angry. There's no way you get more than problem. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, so, all right. So you just explained everything. Um, the I, I kind of saw it like, because pretty much what you just said is exactly what I was messaged. So just to put it on record, um, there's several individuals within the matter community that don't really let people, you know, we don't, we don't follow each other on Twitter and stuff like that. We just have a, um, a history from back in the day. And they always let me know what's going on, especially with the people that I'm, you know, speaking with. And like I said, that's the reason that they let me know that it was going on. Not only that, yeah. they know that the way that people are coming at you is pretty much like the way you just like your quote, their King said, it's okay. So like, let's everybody, let's everybody yeah. do it. Um, the whole thing is this though. Uh, I, I want to make sure that people are very, very clear with what Jay Mel just said. He, I looked at the, I looked at the proof. You were tagged in two of Problems videos. Exactly. So, uh, like, I know that people are saying, okay, look, guys, if you want to see what tags are being used, except there's so many different ways to do it. You guys can go Google it and find it out yourself. But like, I've used other people's names in my tags in the past as well. Like, um, uh, Addy cards or whatever like that probably used like QJB. I don't really give it bro I don't care about all that stuff. I'm just trying to you know what I'm saying get as many views as I can when I was doing those particular videos So I've used that kind of uh, Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead uh, and, and that's the, the other thing about problems like I don't I didn't come at a problem like oh he used me in tag like I don't care who you use like there's people there's so many people out there I search my name in tags there's so many videos of people using me. I'm not gonna be like, oh, you you call chase me. No, like like I said, Pretty Boy Fredo, 2.5 million. He you he uses Chris Smooth and He still does it to this day, bro. Like, I don't get why people complain about it. Like, it's YouTube, it's marketing. You gotta get yourself out there somehow. Cash does it. Every YouTuber does it. And they just act like, oh, you clout. There's no clout on Twitch. That's that's my biggest thing. When somebody say clout, bro. Like if I'm playing FIFA on Twitch where people are getting eight thousand views per stream, that's some clout. Yeah, yeah, bro, you look, yeah. You look at the streams right now, bro. Like you can be, you can be the fifth top streamer with eight views right now, bro. There's no clout in that. When people say that, bro, I almost throw up. Like there's no clout on Twitter. <laughs> that. That's awesome, bro. So, I so don't get why people don't get that. So, so why, so why do you think? Let, 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 because I'm pretty sure people want to ask you this also. Why do you think people are so upset with you 
over you know your your success that's coming into the new year everything that's been happening why why do you feel that people are so upset with you because i came on the twitch scene and immediately i just let i just i wasn't living with it. there's like there's two there's like two communities on this twitch tonight it's the competitive community who all suck joel and problems off they all suck them off they suck them two <laughs> people off it's like all the people in there. That's the little, and then it's people who just don't twitch and to do the giveaways and stuff like Madden Tycoon Supreme. You got that. So when I came, I wasn't really a part of both. Like I, I, I literally, I said I'm gonna do my own thing, and I didn't start from like 20 viewers and then 20 viewers for three months, and then I got the 40 viewers six months later, and then three years later, I literally I started streaming in December and I start averaging two, three hundred views a month later, and they like, oh, you, you buy, and then shit really hit the fan when I passed problem last week that's when shit really started and then people came my stream there's no way you pass problem Duh. there was like 15 people coming at my neck telling me how do you pass problem Duh. and that's when everything started because they you know what i'm saying they, they think they came me as fucking being they they feel threatened but basically they just threatened okay me. okay so okay so what there's several guys like i was looking through some of the posts right and there's a lot of dudes that are saying oh yeah i got proof that jml is viewable. look l let me just go on record I don't know what the fuck view button is, and I <laughs> like people like I told you. Look, it was two. I had like two or three days in a row where I had like 400 viewers, and this was like last year in like November. And everybody that was coming to my stream or tweet was like, "Yo, this guy's view button." I don't know what the fuck it was. I don't know if it was my title. I don't know what was going on. But the bottom line about it is, that's what they 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 accused me of the same shit. So I'm just going on record saying that I don't know like what the whole situation is. But there are people that are that that were in the tag like the whole conversation saying that they have proof of you view botting what do you say to those they're, people that are saying that the only thing i know that they said look my, i was in the stream one day my mom the underdog he in high school now so he is in class right now he can't be here uh so he basically told he he, he sent me a message he's like yo king king long i don't really know his name i don't really want to give him no recognition but i'm gonna say it. king king long and mini mj is whispering right now saying you view bot. I messaged him back. I like, bro, let's just fuck with him. Just be sarcastic as fuck. So he like, oh yeah, Jamie, you bots, he sells bots. And they literally taking this shit serious, right? They like, really? He does? He like, yeah, oh yeah. So then Underdog sent me all the screenshots after him. So we laughed about it. So then, now they going around saying, oh, we got his own mod is saying he you bought it. We got food for his mod is in. And I was like, bro, like, it just, it just, and it's just funny, bro. And it's just still funny to me that, it, I'm like, oh, it's just funny, bro. Like, <laughs> so, so, so. Could, so so you understand so you understand what like the the whole situation right now where you are and how you're going to continue to grow you do understand that they're not going to be too friendly with the way that you you know that people don't like success you you understand that yeah okay and and, and, that, and that's the other thing so if i was in a competitive scene for like two years then i started getting stuff they were like but i came in here and i immediately was not with they bullshit basically like they literally like when i saw when i came here like two months ago like i've always been on twitch but when i really noticed how everybody was like you go into siwoo stream and then like he called everybody like, faggots band and stuff making you fucking pay to and then everybody supporting that laughing about it i basically said i'm gonna stay away from y'all and i was straight up telling them like i don't fuck with y'all for real and like, people was like yo i told siwoo i said yo it really started with siwoo and i was like siwoo i don't really fuck with you, you know what i'm saying you you band sub da, da, da. me and him got into it and then everybody else started getting dragged to it and then joe i was in joe's stream and then i was like uh some dude, other dude threw a nice ass pass i was like dot you know what i'm saying so like you know people in my streams my opponent throw a nice pass they say that i'm not gonna get pissed right yeah Literally, yeah 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 it's like it's like joe is a fucking daddy and they so scared of him other dude was dotting this nigga down the field. The whole chat was silent because they, did, I guess, they didn't want to upset their masters. So I'm like, oh shit, dot. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I'm like, damn, like y'all give. It, then Joe ended up losing, and I was like, damn, good game, Joe. And they was like, Shut the fuck up. he could beat you. I'm just like, like that shit was. Just, <laughs> okay. I was like, Joe, and I straight up told Joe. I said, Joe, you a piece of shit. Like you ain't nothing. He was like, Jay man, get the fuck off my screen. You think you got? <laughs> At the time, at the time, I had like eight thousand subs. It was like that eight thousand sub. You the black D money, and that's when all that started. You the black D money. Okay, so all right, so now, so 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 now, fast forward. You're at forty three thousand now. You're still growing. Yeah. Um, so so so, what what is the whole? What are you trying to accomplish right now? Like what what is? Because you right now, like I said, you don't really need a. You you just all you have to do is get that one boost. You already know that. You're smart enough to know that that you have the boost that you need. So um, you've done a lot of collabs in the past. You've done things, you know, um, with a lot of other individuals. What what is your ultimate goal? Because 
I don't want to know like your whole game plan. I'm just saying like as far as dealing with this because now that you've in the eyes of the public attacked in your words the master which I totally agree with which is problem right because it's pretty much he is Madden. You know what I'm saying? So when yeah, you talk and that's the crazy part, he's not mad. No, no, realis re realistically, I agree with you. But what I'm saying, because, you know, Mr. Golden Sports gets more viewers, uh, Gaming Powerhouse sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But um, what I'm saying is I'm going historic as far as, like, the competitive scene with EA winning the most tournaments. When I say that, I'm correlating oh, yeah, with yeah, the yeah, fact. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's that's what I mean. Uh, when, 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 what you're saying, I totally agree. Nobody could deny that. Um, as far as marketing and everything like that, you, you know, there are definitely a lot of other streamers and a lot of other people that get a lot more views, a lot more, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to Madden, yeah, but... Yeah, because here's where the Twitch community get hurt. Yeah, go ahead. They don't understand, like, the Twitch, they like, yo, you can win 150k, 500,000 on Twitch in the competitive scene. So, look, 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 at the end of the day, one person gonna win 500k in this next tournament. Four, five people gonna get real money out of this, bro, from this from this little Twitch competitive scene, this Madden, this EA Challenge, right? They yeah. get hurt because, like I said, most of my subs don't even know who probably me. Like a lot of these little kids, eight, they were eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They play awesome team draft chance. They don't know who problem is, and they get hurt when they don't because they really got hurt when I was like, bro, YouTube. They was like, yo, YouTube ain't shit. Twitch, I get, I got a sub button because they kept saying you haven't got a sub button yet, but I just got approved last week, and now they said, oh, I have to be about to get the sub button. But that, that's a whole different topic. <laughs> I was just like, but I was just like. Look, look, these kids are going to, like, y'all think the Twitch competitive scene is the move. It's not. These kids, like, like look at TD Presents. You know TD? Yeah, yeah, I know TD. Yeah, I know TD. Yeah. Draft, that nigga's making more than any Twitch, and that hurts these Twitch community. And then here's what really hurt it when I said, they was coming to me on EDA chat. It was like 14 of them. I, I added them. I was like, look, bro, you going to know like this game, and you you going to get a minimum of maybe $1,000 this year from playing money games. Well, I'm making I'm making that shit in probably in motherfucking two weeks, a week and a half, and then that's when all of them start coming. Oh, you just came at all the competitive players, Sam Leach. No, I'm saying <laughs> that and they got hurt. You did. They got emotional, bro. That was not my fault, bro. Like, and then that's why they get mad. So, so, and that's what I'm saying because obviously. I already know based on what you're doing, you 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 know how to brush off the haters. You already know when to stop blocking people. You know you already know what's going on. I, yeah, the whole objective now, because like I said, it's out. It's already out. You know, problem is tweeting it. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting information. Once once I hear, because I hear about everything, any, anything that's going on with it, it doesn't matter if it's internal or whatever, that's what really pisses them off about me. Because there's a lot of people that I got close with before EA even, you know, really took off to doing these tournaments and all this other BS. So people that work with them still speak to me all the time. And regardless of what goes on within it, I'm gonna know. I'm just, I'm, I was just really, really shocked that problem in in his stature and whatever um, you know stature that he has would actually be retweeting and coming directly after you. That that's why I had to really find out. Like, yo, what did you really do to rub him the wrong way? But pretty much everything you just I, told I, me. I'm passing on you. I'm getting more views. Okay, so but that's only gonna continue. Like, cause you just said. You see what I'm saying? As you grow on YouTube and you put your videos out, it's going to continue to grow. So so as you continue to grow and you already said that he's not mad at anymore, like what what is, what is your part? What are you going to do to show the community that, you know, you're here to stay? Like, what is this? Are you just coming in, get your money and run? Or are you just showing these boys like, look, man, I'm putting in the work. I don't care that it just came out. Like, like, what's your viewpoint on what these what these people are saying? Because people want to I know mean, what the like, 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 point they know what it is bro like they they, they know deep down they they mad because they know i'm about to be the top streamer for man on Twitch. besides Tote, obviously Tote stream like maybe once a month twice a month but as a consistent streamer who stream two three times three or more times a week that's gonna be me and it's and they and they know it's coming bro and that's like i said if i would have if i would have had 50 viewers or if i would have had 10k so probably would never even mention it probably yeah yeah that's true bro. He's yeah, that's streaming, true. bro. That's true. Like now that now that oh he's getting seven, six, seven hundred viewers per stream. He started streaming. Literally, bro, people was getting banned in his stream when I was in there because they kept asking me, they kept saying Jamie I'll go live. And his mom started banning him, said don't promote other streamers. Fifteen of my <laughs> stuff got banned because they told me to go live in his stream. I literally, I sit in other people's stream. They ask me to go live. Jmail, when you going live? Are you streaming today? Da, da, da. See, we'll ban people. You don't let me promote his stream. Da, da, da. I can't control that, bro. I literally can't control that. And that's, and that's once they, once now they seeing that, they feel certain, but that's all it is. 
Like, here's so, my so, thing. No matter what yeah, they ahead. do and say, every time they click on Twitch to see, oh, who's streaming, I'm going to go chilling, they're going to see me chilling at the top, bro. And that's going to hurt them. And that's going to make them even more mad. So that's all I'm worried about. I'm not even worried about that, but I don't got to do nothing to keep doing me. Like, every day I'm growing, bro. Like every day, yeah, they go, and, every day these they sit and lurking in my stream. They see my sub count. They see my sub count down. And I got my sub count. <laughs> they see it rising. They can't. They can't, they can't do nothing to stop it, bro. Twitch. They like, oh, we go. And somebody they was like, yo, we gonna bring J Mel shit down. There's about a hundred of y'all competitive players in this game. Y'all can't. Y'all can't dip forty three k subs. You can't make a dip in that, bro. Like Matt and Twitch. Twitch on Matt and it ain't ain't shit. I'm sorry to say. Like there's some good players, but. You can't, you can't, they can't fuck with YouTube at the end of the day. YouTube is, no, no, no. is, is the fuck you, you can't fuck with it. No, I, I totally agree. But like I said, with the, um, okay, so now we're going to bring up, um, there was something else that was going on. Obviously, uh, that dude Sly, um, I saw, they sent me some, some snapshots of what he was saying to you, um, as far as, you know, like, but I, I already addressed that. Like I said, I already said, I, I put different tags in, you know, Chris move, um, yeah. you know, whatever. Like, it, it, I don't give a fuck about that. It's all about trying to gross. That, that started Go ahead. a lot. I get a, uh, it was like this morning. It was like, oh, let me start tagging Madden 18 so I can be like at J Mail flow, uh, and scum my way to the top. So I'm like, okay, why is this dude? So I was like, I click on his profile. I'm like, okay, he got 28k views. I'm like, why is he at me? Like, is this like a joke or whatever? But then I looked at his video. They only getting like 800 views. And you got 28,000 subs. And you you getting 300 views a video. I'm like, okay, he just looking for something to spark his channel. So I'm like, all right, I'm not even gonna do that. Like he, and then he starts saying, I'm an old town to make an exposed video about Jamel. It might, I, hopefully, I hope we get him 3K views. I hope we get him something, like, you know what I'm saying? Even though it's exposing me, quote unquote, I really hope because his channel is dead. And he's just looking, people are looking for something to help. And like I told them, here's gonna read this tomorrow, bro. Cause I was really at first when they were saying shit, I wouldn't say nothing back in chat a month ago. I, and I was, I'm still trying to be friends with these dudes, help them. I'm like, yo, y'all should make a YouTube channel. Like all these 2K streams, like Cash, LSK, Wire, and BJ, they all got YouTube channels that help they, and that's why I'm really trying to, and after they be talking shit, I'm still was trying to help everybody. You can ask me. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know who it is. I'm trying to help everybody. I even tried to help Sibu make a YouTube channel. Even after the shit he was talking. But then after like the last Madden challenge, I just literally said, fuck them all. And I, was, I remember I was talking uh, in Pony stream. And they were like, yo, you. And they were like, you would never be big on Twitch. Because at that time, I only averaged like 200. Uh, 200, Sibu gets more than you. And then once I started averaging four, 500, like I start, and I was in chat, I just started defending myself. And then they like, oh, you, you, uh, you not humble. I'm like, no, if you tell me I'm not shit, I'm gonna tell you I'm shit, bro. You feel me? And then I started. And then, then everybody really hated me, bro. I, when I was in, uh, I was talking to C when the street. I said, see if I stream Minecraft, I will average more viewers than almost every Madden, Madden Twitch stream right now. And, and then they, that's all. That's when they all got hurt. I will. I can stream Happy Wheels, Minecraft. Like I will still average more viewers than y'all. That's why they hurt. Like, <laughs> all right. So, all right. So pretty much going forward, like I said, we we have to address the whole. Um, uh, people are going to be asking me about the Koopa situation. Um, I don't know uh, if you've thoroughly researched him after we spoke about it, um, but he, he's a he's a very notorious man in the Madden community. He has been for a very long time. Now, people are going to have no issue with collaboration with you, and you being a new man, pretty much, like trying to find out who is who, what's what, and stuff like that. Um, w what are your plans as far as Continuing to collaborate with people that you don't really know because like I said I'm again you, Yeah, look with, with your whole growth like I said remember you see the funny thing is two three months ago I already told you all the shit was gonna happen That right, that's right, right. that's that's the funny thing because I already knew I saw it in your eyes You saw that glisten you got that glow you got you know what I'm saying like you ready to go I I already know see people don't really understand I, I Bruh, I, I'm from the hood bruh. I can see I know what the I know what's going on that's why I rather, you know what I'm saying, I, I try to see from, from your heart, dog, because it's just oh, like wait, anything wait, 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 else. Let me, let, me tell you this, let me tell you this. Why you don't see me, right? Yeah. <laughs> why, uh, I, I'm not going to have an with you, but why, uh, he, through all this talking shit, bro, we actually got, like, to a point, I'm like, all right, he was like, we cool. He, he apologized. He listened to me. I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying, accusing you. I was just, because I didn't think nobody could come on Twitch as fast as you did. He actually was whispering me and stuff. 
he asked me, he begged me to host him. He like, yo, can you host me? I'll be streaming. He said this like five five streams in a row. Can you host me when you get off? I really want some extra for you. It's just like that. I just didn't respond. Every stream he was asking me to host him. Then somebody was like, yo, she was saying you a clout chaser, you about it. <laughs> you were just asking me to host you. Like, why would you want me to host you a box? If they if they fucking fake, why are you asking me to host you? But that's what I'm saying. That's when I realized at that point, I said, I'm done fucking with everybody, bro. Like, no collabs, no nothing. Everybody until, like, cause I don't know, unless the people I fuck with before this, but like, like there's only like four people. Like, but besides that, like, I'm done fucking with people, like, hosting people's streams. Like, I'm not even gonna host somebody's streams no more. Like, people like, oh, host me when you get off. No, bro. Like, <laughs> I just. <laughs> All right, so 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 pretty much like what, what we were getting to with that. Now that you have gotten to a point where, um, you know, we, we spoke about this before. Like, I think when when I told you this, I think you were probably just at like what were you like 30, 33,000, something like that. When I told you this, I forgot what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah and you were still growing, and I knew you know what I'm saying once you got that niche, whatever. All right, so now that you're aware that you see what pretty much the Madden community consists of, what. What what are you that that that's pretty that that's your thought process going forward? Are you because you, you got to remember something? You can't really abandon what your viewers are going to want just because you know that everybody's a scumbag. You can always find other people that are going to be able to do stuff. I'm all I'm saying is, I know that when you when you did like when you did the collab with Koopa, you really had no idea. That's what I'm saying because that, that because that that's something. That as far as like you got, like you said, you have a lot of young kids, you know, 10, 8, 9, 10, whatever, whatever their ages are, and they're coming up. They don't know about Cooper either. But what happens is, like everything else in life, that shit from your past comes back. So those kind of things can affect you later on and kind of tarnish you because you you know what I'm saying, even though you didn't know. Because no matter who, like, it's a lot of other dudes that are out there that you've done collabs with that I've seen, and those dudes are cool. They, they, you know what I'm saying? They don't got no history, yeah. everything's good, but it's always that one. So it's not it's not the fact that you gotta stifle yourself, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody because everybody's not like that. Like I told the first thing I told you, I said, listen, motherfucker, cut the bullshit with what you do. Yo, watch these motherfuckers. They're gonna be contacting you, bro. This is what's gonna be happening. I, I told you, I'm like, listen, they're gonna try to eat you from the inside because what happens is a lot of these dudes, they it's the intimidation factor. The problem with me is I don't have a reason to get intimidated. So right. when when I first came on, look, when, when I first came on YouTube, bro. They tried to get my channel off. They, <laughs> they, they were, no, no, I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. Like they, my channel was, I, I was like down for like two or three days. I had to fight with YouTube to get my channel back. A lot of shit. I took mad hits, bro, because I came right at these motherfuckers because what the, the same way that you are with, you know, trying to, you know, share your wealth and stuff like that. My mentality is I've always been a dude like in real life. I'm a dude that provides for a lot of other individuals. All the dudes that grew up with me in, in my hood, in my area, I took them out of that shit. I got them, you know what I'm saying? I got them work, I got them certain things. I do shit in real life. So I understand what the value of a man is. And a lot of these dudes that are in the Madden community are not men. They're just little, you know what I'm saying? Little vaginas running around and just trying to, you know, reach out and get, and I don't want to say vagina, because vaginas are very strong when compared to a penis. I'm just saying, they're, they're, they're less. They're lesser than what a man should be. And right, right. when you come around now and you're so kind, like you're, bruh. You're really, really, bro, you're extremely generous with, with, with your shit with these guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, look how long I've been doing it and look how short you've been doing it. And look how many collabs you have and look how many collabs I have. Right. You see what I'm saying? I chose to do it that way. You know, people offered me stuff. Your boy, I Mad Mad, when I first got on, because it's a very funny world, bro. Like, it doesn't really matter. IMAP blew up when I, because IMAP was stuck at like, I forgot what, what, what Madden Mastermind for like 30,000 subs for like a very long time, whatever. But he just kept going, bro. He kept trying to fucking rape and pillage villages. And finally, he was able to succeed. But it doesn't make a difference because you have to answer for the shit you do. It, people don't realize, it, you know, what people see visually and what they hear is not what the actual person that's going through it deals with. So everybody got to an answer for everything that they're doing. And it, it, it becomes a situation now that where you are, like I told you months back, this is where you're going to come to. It's about what you do now. But you already smart enough to realize your viewership is going to go up. You already realize yeah. that um, you're going you're like, to be able to do it. All they're doing is helping me, bro. Yeah, yeah but, that's what, but, but remember, there's a lot of other dudes that quit because of pressure. Remember, these same guys that you're dealing with right now corroborated to throw other guys out of the Madden community that had 
at the time 20, 30,000 subs. And I'm talking about like three, four years ago. Remember, Duke the Killer is how IMAP actually got his rise from, from fucking, re yo, just fucking harassing that fucking guy. And I've spoken to Duke the Killer, like, you know what I'm saying, many times. And a lot, it wasn't only because Madden changed that he left the community, it was just the fact that people fed into the BS that happened. You know what I'm saying? A, a lot of the things that went on with him, he's very, very conservative. He doesn't like to talk, you know what I'm saying? Do whatever. But every now and again, we'll, you know what I'm saying? We'll chop it up, shit like that. But you gotta, everybody has done some form of BS to get to where they've gotten to. But the thing about it is, nobody has ever really done it like you. And that's also threatening. Because, you know, the, you know, you have these people that tell you, all right, you're never going to do this. You're never going to do that. You're never going to do this. And then fucking three, four months later, you're like, yo, what's good? That shit yeah, can't... that shit happened. You... It was in December. Yeah. Fucking, it was like, I was in c and they like, yo, you only got six, seven K. Like, d you the black d -money. It's At the time, I was only uploading this. I was at four, like four to seven K. I don't know what it was. And they was like, you the black d You ain't going to never be nothing, nothing, nothing. And now that they eating all their fucking words now at 43 K, now they got to find something else. Oh, so now, oh, he passed probably must be you, Bob. He got 43k, so it must be fucking somebody. Like, and it's just, it's just uh, like, as soon as I hit 100k, or as soon as I start getting 1300 viewers per stream, it's gonna be something else. Like, they, they just, they just gonna keep trying to find somebody. And that's, it just hurts so much. Cause I know every time, like, you look at your phone, you click on games, Madden 17, you click on something, and they see me at the top of that fucking list, it hurts them, bro. And literally, they be sitting in my stream, I go to the viewers list, People that claim they hate me are sitting in the fucking, they're watching me. And I'm like, and I call one out, I unbanned them. I'm like, yo, mini MJ, why are you sitting in the stream? Like, I said, I'm gonna need two minutes to talk. He was like, oh, I'm not, I'm gonna take a look at my phone, man. Uh, and then I just bought, I just banned him again. I said, like, okay, so you just sitting. And then like, stay, so many people chill in the stream. I'm like, why, if y'all don't like me, why are you watching me? Yeah, but, like, but that's the whole thing. They still gotta see what you're doing. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You, you, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's, you know. But, but like I said, that that's the thing about it. You see, all you need is that one hitch. You see what I'm saying? Like you got the hitch. You 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 got the hitch now. So it's just like, all right. So now, who do you want to put on the back of your truck? You see what I'm saying, bro? Like it's it's yeah. very. It's you know you got the opportunity, and you just got to know what you're trying to do. And like I said, remember, it's not like it's anything new to me. And you you know what I'm saying? You're still young. You're going to school and shit like that. Everything changes, and but people remain the same. You see what I'm saying? Like the individuals that that have shown you what they were, they're gonna remain what they are. You know what I'm saying? The one thing and the reason, and like even even my last stream when I was um you know I had BK Bullion and um you know Kilo. These dudes are from way back, bro. And we fought, we had wars and shit like that, and we could still come back together and just be talking. Now the reason that we were at war was because. You know what I'm saying? One night I went into a stream and, you know, BK at the time when I was beefing heavy with Mr. Golden Sports had Mr. Golden Sports as a mod in the stream. So I went crazy on both him and Kilo, whatever like that. And they were like, yo, it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It was a situation where Golden Sports was already his mod prior, shit like that. But you see, I'm a, I'm a very, very, there's certain things you can't take out of me that I try to, I try to get away from, you know what I'm saying? Because I had to change my mentality when I changed my hustle in actual real life. So, but it's certain things you can't get out of me. I'm a real ignorant motherfucker when I feel that people betray me. Because, you know, in the kind of life, you, you know what I'm saying? In a, allegedly, in the kind of life that, I don't want to say anything because VY is in here. VY is going to try to snitch. But allegedly, in my past life, you know what I'm saying? Dudes really understood I, I was about that work. So, I, I, don't, I don't like when people portray themselves to be something and they're really not. So, but at the end of the day, I know Kilo and BK are good dudes. Like, they're good people. You know what I'm saying? It's just that sometimes we don't really understand how serious somebody is about something. So with you now, again, going back to you, because you, yo, you getting retweeted by, you know, the, the self-proclaimed self -proclaimed goat. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just think about it. But now no. you're given the reality that he's really not the goat. But you're not the first person to say that. You're just the guy that has numbers now that's going to really, like, put it in people's heads. That he's really not the goat. So here's what they don't get. He 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 can be the goat at a video game, but it's not a okay. Goal. Back then, you could be good at Madden, and everybody's like, oh, he's the best in that. We have yeah. YouTube now. It's clear, bro. What, like we have these eight year olds on iPhone, six, seven, eight year olds with iPads, iPhones. It's not about being good at the game. Anymore. Like, That's I true. I tell them all the time. You don't. Y'all can be good. You know what I'm saying? Play your five, ten dollar money games every day. Make it to a Madden challenge. First place, get seventy thousand. 
YouTube, like like I said, YouTube where at most of these kids, I guarantee you look at every one of Anto the boss's subs, only maybe a hundred K know who probably like most of these kids like was in my stream, who's probably who probably like <laughs> they didn't even know what Twitch was. I tell my subs in my YouTube stream, I'll say, yo, when I go live on Twitch, they like what's Twitch? Most of them didn't even know what it was. Like, like I said, he can. It's not about being good, and that's what that's what hurting this the competitive community. That's why it's so small. It's not about being good anymore. Like the two K two K streamers realize that they do the my part, they do the uh, ankle breaker mixtapes, they do the you know the vlogs like LSK Cash, they do the little my team shit. They realize it's not about being good at two K anymore. None of them give a shit about being good at two K. They don't even play the normal game mode no more. They play they play my part. They make entertaining videos. They make the mixtapes. They realize that when. These Madden people realize that? That's when we gonna get bigger. Cause then most of them be like, oh shit, let me make a YouTube or let me do this. Cause like now we don't got nobody on YouTube for Madden. We got told, we got like four people. But if you name, you can name 20, you, I can name 22K YouTubers off the top of my head who got at least uh, like 50 to 200K. Either with well, Madden is either you got a big YouTube or just a bunch of small YouTube. Like it, it is very rare any of them. So now that I'm doing this and now I'm coming to Twitch with all these kids watching me and they're like, oh, JML is not one of the top Madden players, but he got all these streams. That's why they mad. Cause I'm not in the competitive scene, top 10 in the world. And I'm just a normal ass player and I'm getting all these viewers. And I <laughs> But but you have to understand though. What I don't really understand um, is that you don't really, because you. To be honest with you, if you play, if you played a lot of these competitors that are competitive now, Madden sixteen and seventeen, you'd probably beat most of them anyway. Like the game has changed dramatically. So even with the whole competitive scene, we could argue that it's not even really as competitive as it you know as it once was. So yeah. So like that whole argument with everybody. Oh yeah, bro. I don't understand that. You pretty much have been giving them this knowledge. But from what I've seen in the streams, like when you've been going at dudes and all the Madden tournaments and shit, I, I see you actually telling them, like, bruh, you guys don't know what you're doing. I'm trying to tell you how to do it. I see you doing it. So I know yeah, I'm like, I'm that, like, yeah. Like, look, four people is going to make some money off this game. First place is going to get 150K. Next place is going to get 100K, then 60K. I think the rest is all 200. Y'all grinding, playing 500 games in a month, in three months type shit like that. Y'all got the nerve to get mad at me because I'm a normal as dude. They like, they like you coming to Twitch. And one dude, one dude, even though I hate that he said this, I I gained so much respect for this dude. He said, dude, j -Man, you ain't do nothing to me. The only reason I hate you was because you came to Twitch and blew up and the rest of us got to actually work the stream. I, he kept it real. And I said, well, damn, you hate me for no reason, but at least you kept it real. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I literally came to Twitch. I didn't have to fucking, like, I'm not, I'm, I'm humble and, I'm, and, I'm, and I, I'm blessed and I appreciate that. I tell myself I love them every day. I wouldn't need shit without them. Like, I can make a YouTube channel and come to Twitch and get 300 viewers and just be chilling. And while everybody, and they're like, well, I had to grind from 20 viewers. And, and, and they just, and not like, now I'm at 12,000 or I'm at like 10,000 subs on Twitch. And I gained 10,000, I mean, not subs, 10,000 followers. I gained 10,000 followers in, in a month and a half on Twitch. And they're like, oh, you follow by. I'm not. Like, oh, oh, so, oh, oh, I go live, there's 30 yeah. people spamming TG in my chat. Like, 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 you ever watch me go live? Like, the second, the, the first 30 seconds, you come in there, there's 80 people spamming TG. Well, All right, like, so yeah, and, that, and that's another thing. What the what the hell is TEG? <laughs> TEG, I mean, I mean, it's just a group. It's called uh, the Exposed Guys. Like God, it's like a, it's basically like a group. It's like a religion. I mean, it's a family. <laughs> okay, okay, because I keep I keep hearing people tell me that. I'm like, All right, good. All right, so that explains people, that. I, I got that name so. because like I was using Antonio Brown in a gameplay video. I called him the Exposed Guy. I didn't even have TG. I, I was like Antonio Brown. And that's like every game. I'm like, oh, the Exposed Guy. But I got it again. And they was like, yo, no, you're the real Exposed Guy. Da, da, da. And then somebody's like, yo, TG be in the house. Like I didn't even come up with that name. One of my subs did in a YouTube stream chat. And they they said, yo, we should call ourselves TG. I said, yo, that's not that's actually not bad. So I start saying TG. I say, "Where my exposed guys at?" I tell them niggas to stand up. They stand up. This nigga <laughs> me everywhere I go. I be chilling in people's streams, just chilling, not saying nothing. Somebody mentioned my name. They, them niggas, they, they after it, bro. Them niggas, <laughs> they, they after these niggas out here, bro. And that's like that's why people mad. Like I hosted W right with 500 viewers, right? Hosted him with 500 viewers. I said, y'all just spam J Mail Raid and TG. Like, you know, uh, like if GPH uh, raids somebody, they spam his emotes. Uh, Pony raids somebody, or Problem raids somebody, they spam movement, right? Yeah. I rate W. They spamming TG and uh, 
they go to TG and fucking J Mail Raid. I'm fucking, they start banning these dudes. Stop spamming TG. My eyes start banning almost every one of my people who went in there. I'm like, how you going? I just hosted you a 500 viewer. You banning most of them? Like, that, that's when I was really dumb, bro. Like, all because it was me. If that was anybody else, Lou, like, if, it was, if I would have hosted W and they were spamming movement, they wouldn't have gave a fuck. They'd be like, oh, crime host you. Yeah, yeah. Since I, since I, since, since it hurt them to see down. 300 motherfuckers is spamming. You couldn't even read the chat, Jemaya. Yeah, it was skipping every 10 lines. Every second, 10 lines was skipping. It was so many niggas spamming TG. And they like, damn, this nigga not do by This nigga really do. This nigga really do got all these fucking views. And that, that hurt them. They start banning everybody. And I was like, I'm done with this, bro. It was just, it was just, it was just so, dumb with me. Like, Yo, so that, wow, that, that, that's unbelievable. All right, so ultimately, before we let you go, we, we, uh, you, you spoke about the competitive scene. Um, of course, you're aware of. It's funny that you bring up Dot Dubby. Um, you, we, I'm pretty sure you're aware of his discretions as far as being accused of being prejudiced or whatever. Yeah. What do you, even if I yep. was you, Bob? Yeah. <laughs> but somebody, somebody joking about saying nigger. Y'all let that shit go in five minutes. Yeah, Talk yeah. To me, Maya. yeah. Talk to me. No, no. No, but I've been saying this. I've been saying this for a very, very long time. The ma- look, the man didn't only use the use the nigger, bro. He went in. He, he called porch exactly. monkey cooney. He, he went wild. So what I'm saying is, I already, I came to the conclusion. Look, the only reason that I'm shocked about du- du- uh, dub dot w, and I also interviewed him, you know, here at Gmi's World as well. The only reason that I'm shocked is because of where he's from, because Philly, Philly don't play that shit, bro. So I don't know who who he this black know, friend is. Yeah, it, it gotta be because I, I've never seen this, bro. Like I said, look, I, you know, New York is where I've been most of my life, so I'm I'm New York bred. But I'm just saying, Philly, I got some real dudes that that came to New York that w- was a part of what I was doing back in the day. Them dudes was thorough. Like they don't play that shit, so I don't know. I, what I'm trying to figure out is this: when I say about the competitive scene, because a lot of the guys that are actively playing, they have a history of using the N word or just outright showing. Um, you know, prejudice tendencies. Yeah, so, they let it go. H- h- how do you feel about the whole outlook of what's going on? Because ultimately, right now, Dub Dot W is the face of Madden. I mean, I think it just that just proves that people gonna pick and choose. That that just proves that people really don't got no morals, and it's not, it's not that just proves to me that it's not about oh they think I'm you by or they think this. It's really about they really just don't like. Me. Like that, that, that's what if you don't like me, just say you don't like me. Don't say, oh, I don't like you. You got no, you just don't like me. Because at the end of the day, even if I was you buying, because and here's the, I was an AKG streaming. Somebody named Fax or Figgy was on the mic. He was like, well, Jay Mail, I don't like you because you was you said a general statement and said all competitive players do is no like the game and they uh, don't get no money from it. So you can't just make a general statement and expect us to like you. So I hit him with, okay, so. W made a statement that offended the a whole race and y'all let it go and act like nothing happened. He, he ain't say nothing. I said, what about that? He said, well, uh, that nigga, that's exactly what he said. Well, uh, just like that. <laughs> okay. So I said, you so, said so, I offended your community, but he offends a whole race and y'all didn't even think twice. Y'all didn't even say nothing to the dude. Y'all literally, he streamed five hours later. Y'all, oh, congrats, W. He offended the whole race. I, and that just showed me, you just don't like me. Just say you don't like me. You hating on somebody, say, just say it. But it hurts him to say, damn, I just don't like you for no reason. It hurts. So, so okay. And and that's that, that that's what I wanted to really um, get to before we closed out. Why does everybody, any stream that I've ever seen you in, no matter where you're at, bro, and I just have, like, because the only the streams I really go to is probably yours. Um, I've been to uh, Just Relax Kid and um, and the EA Sports one. So wherever I see you at, though, why why does everybody that is like you know quote unquote part of the Madden community that knows what's going on call you a fraud? Because that because I'm, I'm I'm real. I'm because I'm the because look you can literally they they say something to me I literally don't respond. I literally blocked them. Like I have 36 people blocked. Ever since I blocked those 36 people, I don't see my name no more. It's literally only like it's like 40 of them that keep just they they in every stream. They like sprinkle through every stream. So once I blocked them and I start ignoring them when I don't when I just stop responding and they just get mad because I keep it real with them. They say something they're like J Mail, you ain't shit. 
you don't make no money, you just a no life. I'm like, well, if I'm a no life, why why did I play college football? Uh, I got one more year left until I uh, get my bachelor's degree and I have 43K sub on YouTube. Oh, you just, you not humble, you just bragging. So, so you tell me all my shit, I tell you everything I got, now I'm bragging. And then they just, they just, I hit them with facts and it hurts, bro. You hit somebody with facts, it hurts them. So they got no choice but to hate me, bro. And I just keep it real with them all the time. And that's why they get upset. All right, all right, so, all right, so, um, pretty much that right now with you and problem, uh, we I already saw the videos in which you were tagged, uh, so that's my point of view with that. I already know what's going on with that. You've already explained everything else that's going on. So looking forward, is there any way for you to uh make make up a problem, right? Because you've said some very factual statements, pretty much. You know, I don't. He he can't be considered the face of Madden if he doesn't have the highest draw, which I believe you and Toke. And Golden Sports will probably be able to do that. So, what 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 do you do going forward? Because you've already hurt the man's pride, in my opinion. Because the way when, the way that you're speaking about it, and you're not making anything up, that's a very difficult thing for people to deal with. That are you know what I'm saying that that are supposed to be something. So you have to understand. I'm just making sure that you're very clear that and everybody understands this. That you're saying things that people are gonna like internally really really yeah. be upset about but it, it is the truth and like you know like i i can't i can't knock you for saying it you know what i'm saying like you know a lot of people won't say it i i say whatever i feel and people hate me for it so join the club but wh what are you what you know what i'm saying like is there any way that you guys could possibly make up ultimately or you just consider you, you you just don't give a fuck about that i mean i really don't care about it but at the same time i was cool about it. i was subbed to this channel for four months in a row like, you know what I'm saying? When I first got into this Twitch thing, that's the first channel I sub to. Like, I only sub to like four channels. So basically, basically they kept saying, like, you know how people kept saying it throughout the last month, J-Mail doing this, you buy and da 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 And then at the last EA stream, the last club series, everybody was in the chat. It was like the same 30 people, but I couldn't see what was going on, right? People was like, J-Mail, there's a bunch of people in here hating on you, say something. I was like, I can't see them, they all blocked. The ones I said that, they all started <laughs> People even made other accounts unblock me back uh, or oh he got me blocked again blocked me on this one so, and I just didn't respond. So problem saw all that because he was in the stream and he didn't come at me like the only thing that pissed me off with him he literally he didn't come to me and say yo is what they saying true or what's going on because look at problem follow, was following me on Twitter. He only followed like 350 people. He was following me on Twitter. Me and the dude was cool, but the only thing he could do he saw everything they were saying and he believed it. He unfollowed me, then he tweeted the Madden community is exposing the fraud right now. He didn't even, like, if you're going to come at me, come correct. Don't subtweet about me. Don't just believe, like, he believe. He just, he did what everybody else is doing, basically. They see what's going on there. Well, there's 40 people saying you view by so they, he just believed him off rip. And that's, okay. what, but that's what got me. Like, okay, you didn't come at me and be like, like, a bunch of people saying, Jemiah doing this, I'm going to be like, Jemiah, yo. Like, you know, it's like, like when I came in the stream, you said, yo, j -Mail, what's going on? You didn't say, you didn't just like unfriend me on PlayStation, ban me in your stream after you saw that shit last night. I'm like, well, probably don't fuck with you, I don't. And that's the problem. No, yeah, 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 because, saw, because like, yeah, 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 go ahead. He basically saw what everybody was saying in that uh, EA stream. And I was like, well, it must be true. Believe him. That's his fault, bro. No, but that's what I'm saying. The, the reason behind, like I said, because... You know, the, the, the turning point with, with, with you was like when I when, when we spoke about Cooper, you understood it. Like, you know, what I'm saying after you already did, you know, the draft wars, whatever like that. And you were able to see that there's a lot of people that you just don't know that have been around yeah. for a long time. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's that's the whole pretty, you know, that's a pretty much uh, the situation with that. But with problem, I didn't know the history. See, this is why people all, no matter what's been going on with my channel. I always get interviews with, with up and coming guys and all, all that stuff like that because I'm objective with what I'm saying. The thing is this, when everybody gives their side, it's always a consistency somewhere. You see what I'm saying? So you're, you're saying exactly why it doesn't make sense. Because if the dude is following you and you guys are cool, you sub this thing, whatever like that, it doesn't make any sense for you all of a sudden to be what everybody else is saying. That doesn't make any yeah. sense. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, all right, so pretty much to sum that up, because I, I don't think, in my opinion, I don't think problem is going to approach you about anything because i guess in his mind he like i said he is still when, whenever you're at any other tournament or you watch anything else, you know the way that ea sports commentates about him i guess he feels that he's still that guy you know what i'm saying so yeah. he doesn't feel that he needs to do anything else but ultimately if you have eyes he's continuously coming up short in the biggest moment so it's not the same thing because you have to be winning to be that guy in my opinion you know what i'm saying like like bruh 
I, I, bro, I was an all-state wrestler. If I lost, bro, like, it, it, the whole fucking town went crazy. Like, I made the paper. It was fucking crazy. But when I won, nothing happened. So oh, I know. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I know what it's like. Because when, you, when you're that guy, you have to continue to be that fucking guy. You can't. It, it's no excuse. So it didn't matter about anything else that was going on. And that's what's happening right now. And it was just funny to me that when I got the information that I saw that you were actually tagged in two of his videos. That, that was funny to me. Because, because, you know, he's not... Nobody should be stupid enough to believe that there's any comparison with YouTube and Twitch. YouTube is just by far the fucking, that's where you should be. If anything, that's, that's where you should be. Like, so like, you probably just, there's a lot of people that just got hurt. I know it's been people chilling here who just got hurt by that. They, yeah, but, 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 they literally thought Twitch was the move. And today, they just don't, they don't get it. Like Jemai, they stubborn. That's like, they hard headed. That's what I'm saying. They, they have to be hard headed because it, it, you, the numbers don't lie. Like, listen, bro. I understand that Amazon bought Twitch. Twitch is what it is. You know, Justin TV, whatever it was, he made his money. It, it ain't about that no more with him, bro. It, it, it is what it is. Like, it's a whole history behind how this even got started. But the dude, you know what I'm saying, sold a lot of the shares to Amazon. This is just a service where people can, you know, make their little bit of money for the most part by just, you know, interacting with the public. But YouTube is a whole different fucking animal. It's a whole different animal, bro. So people, I don't, I don't think uh people were realizing that because yeah, remember man, fucking charge. and fucking twitch is a guppy bro and they don't get that that's why i came on twitch and start eating the way i start eating bro and they're like oh no, you know you just bragging no i was i i came on i'll try to be nice to everybody but i i came on i was eating bro i literally i would post a video on youtube hey i'm going live on twitch come three two hundred people will come then three hundred people start coming then four hundred people start coming and then last week six seven hundred people start coming i hit 988 viewers i thought i was gonna hit a thousand we never hit a thousand we passed problem i start streaming problem lost viewers and they got hurt god damn like, bro it's not my fault. yo this, this shit is crazy bro like you really trying to just do whatever you want yo i feel you though bro that's what you're supposed to be doing but i'm just like god damn you're gonna you, you trying to just really come bro you're gonna take the man's fucking clout bro what, what like what are you doing bro like is that your plan like me. what the fuck bro I do me. i'm real look they come to my stream we turn up I'm real. I, I talk to them. I get lit. I got a positive. I, I'm not sitting here trying to play a compet. I'm not sitting here staring at the TV trying to win ten games in a row. Like it's not about winning for me, bro. Hell no, it's not about winning, motherfucker. You see my quarterback? My quarterback is Doug Baldwin, motherfucker. I don't care. Exactly. I entertain my fans, and they, they That's what mad. you're supposed to do. I, I tell That's them to spam TG after the touchdown. Like, you know what I'm saying? We get lit. I be entertained. I'm not sitting in the stream and play draft chat. Guys, let's talk about earlier. Let's talk about who you think the one to be talking. Who's the one to be in Hollywood? That's boring. And that chat yeah. is barely moving, bro. I can't even read my fucking chat, bro. I look, I look at the game for three seconds, look away, it's a whole new fucking, it's whole new 20 lives. I can't, and that's why, and that's why I like that, and that's why people like me, because I, like, if I'm not turned up, they not turned up. And that's why I always try to keep my stream entertaining in every video, bro. Like, and that's, and they just get angry at that. Well, like I said, guys, yo, the dude, you know, he told you guys what the situation is. Um, obviously, um, you know, people are going to side with whoever they want to side with, but the man gave his point. Like I, I can't knock your hustle even with everything that just happened. Like you explained everything, you explained that dude slide, you explained problem, and people gonna hate you, bro. They just gonna continue I'm to hate. That you know, I gained yeah. two hundred eighty nine followers on Twitter from that. I was happy. happy. Okay, like, oh, so listen, bro. Just yo, bro. Just make sure you still work out because you eating too much, bro. You see what I'm saying, bro? Like <laughs> what the fuck? You see what I'm saying? You got you got to share with a motherfucker. Like yo, bro, whatever. But it is what it is. Like I told you before, continue to do your grind. Continue to do what you got to do. Um, and like I said, man, we're going to see how this plays out. But I'm going to get this out to the masses and let everybody understand what's going on. Obviously, um, you had, you know, you, you gave your viewpoints about it. And then we're going to see what happens with it. But I knew from the beginning, bro, when I read all that shit, I already knew what was going on. A lot of dudes are starting to get real hurt. Because when you're not, you know, when you weren't around, when everything else, and people were grinding and stuff like that, and you just jump out of nowhere and do it, a lot of people can't deal with that, bro. Um, so... You know, you're going to continue to get that kind of stuff. I'm going to go live at 7.30, and there's going to be 300 viewers in there in less than 10 minutes, and they're going to get angry. Are you viewing again? No. Nigga, just fuck with me. Sorry. Yo, and that's pretty much what it is. Look, and now, now that you've made the statement, it doesn't matter anymore. Because you see what I'm saying? Like, everything that you just said, because the people, like, the people that I have, my, my people are very, very diehard individuals. So now that, you know, I'm going to pretty much put that message out there, it doesn't really matter. No, like people don't really understand that it i'm gonna tell you something in 2013 
There was there was there was a fucking I forgot how old the kid was. Like I told you, I, uh, the Madam Mastermind was selling ebooks. IMAV gave this kid a lifetime membership, and the dude wanted to cancel, and they wouldn't cancel it. And I had to make a video for him to cancel it. Within like 10 minutes of the video dropping, and at that time I was only getting like 50, 60 views. He fucking he 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 completely refunded whatever whatever and and canceled the, the whole membership. So it, it the voice. You don't really have to have all that shit. It's just certain people know. Like, all right, once that word gets out, it is what it is. That's what I do, bro. I don't really care about the other shit. And you just explain thoroughly. So there should be no more. Like, I don't want to hear shit about view button. Like, if anybody says anything about view button with JML, like, I don't want to hear about. It. The man just explained everything that has to be said about all the bullshit. The same way, I can send you pictures too. Like, I can send you a picture of a video I upload on YouTube to come. It got 15, 1,580 views. For them to come to my stream, so I don't. And that's what I'm. I, I, get, I get angry that not all thousand will come. Only like five or hundred. <laughs> you know, yo, bro, the dude, the dude want to eat more. You just, you try, you trying to fucking just take everything, huh? You want problem to lose weight? Yo, you a savage, bro. You trying to I mean, eat bro, that like much? Said, that the model I live by, bro. The only thing the, on the mind of a shark is fun. That's it, yeah. that's bro. That's trust me, bro. We in New York. We eat till the food's gone. So I understand it. But what I'm yeah. saying is, you're dealing with a man that you taking food off his plate. Literally, you see what I'm saying? Um, yo, saying. literally. No, I, I agree. I agree with. I'm, I'm not saying that what you're doing is wrong. I'm just telling you that that you for every action there's a reaction. So yeah. what you're doing, you're naturally doing something that's affecting another man's way of life. Pretty much what you're doing, because like I told you, it it's not a Madden is not a community where everybody likes to share. So they can't accept they they can't accept your um you, you know your success. But the other guys that are smart, the IMAVs, the um, the Coopers, those guys like that, they're smart. They know that even though they're, they, you know, they're a little bit up there, they want to stay relevant to different type of audiences. So they're gonna, you know, what I'm saying they're gonna infiltrate, do what they gotta do. It's all, it's all business. That's what it is. But people don't realize that it would have been a much easier if they just kept it business with you instead of going the hate route. That's all my. That's yeah, why I wanted people, to. You just use my name to try to get attention. Like Joe was like, I was in his chat. They were like, uh, he was like, wait to be one one meal, JML. You exposed guys. Ah, bro, if you don't like me. Why you ask me to wager? You? Like he just did that. <laughs> they want to put my name in a title. One meal wager for JML. They want. They just want to use my name. Bro. Yo, man, this is hilarious. I can't. Yo, yo, you, you just straight because you, you just stating straight fact. All right, so um. All right, so what, what's your what's your uh, stream schedule uh, for today? You gonna be out there today? Oh, every, every yeah, seven thirty eight. I mean, whenever I feel like getting turned up, and I, <laughs> ooh, it's so bad, bro. We <laughs> <laughs> gonna keep eating, bro. <laughs> okay, all, right. all right, so you guys heard it, man. Uh, J Mel, you guys can go follow him. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do on Twitch. I think what are you J Mel 04, right? Yeah, J Mel Flow. Yeah, J Mel Flow 04. Yeah, you guys go follow him. He's gonna be, you know, because pretty much what's gonna happen right now is it's gonna be a situation where you're gonna end up in problem rights title. Like, yo, it, it's it's gonna get to that point because if you if you if you're that guy that's doing this shit, I, I, look, a lot of people are not gonna be too happy about it. But you know what I'm saying? I'm from New York. We love the drama, so um, we're gonna go ahead and let J Mel do his thing. Thank you for joining me, bro. It's definitely appreciated. Uh, you know, we'll see you next time, bro. All right, bro. All right later, bro.